everyone welcome back or welcome to the channel uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a game that's new to me well, I'm kind of new um, I played it a little bit but I decided that I needed my own server uh, and that's where we're going to go um, the game is called Worm Unlimited it came out few years ago uh, so it's been around for a little while they don't seem to be doing a whole lot of work with the um, with the game I mean there, there's updates here and there um, but primarily the focus seems to be on worm online which is the official version the uh, standalone is worm unlimited but we're gonna take a look at the game itself So this is the character creation screen. This is a brand new character. I haven't played on it yet. Um, but I just kind of wanted to run through real quick. Um, I'm going to be skipping a lot of windows. Uh, and I'll just explain to you what they are uh, as we run through. Feel free to read them at your own pace if you decide to uh, jump in and, and join. But basically this is... Uh, self-explanatory it's male or female um, the kingdom doesn't really matter uh, this particular server doesn't have a kingdom so you can choose freedom or none it, it really doesn't matter and then you click send and it just puts you into a creation screen I mean obviously you can click random and just kind of get something similar to what you're hoping for uh, Pretty much looks good enough for me, but I'm going to change the hair color a little bit. That'll work. Um, and then change the complexion, skin tone. I mean, you you name it. You can you can kind of change whatever you want. You can turn him so you can see like hairstyle and all that. I'll show you. Um, Oops, that's facial hair. Well, but that works too. Um, so hairstyle, I mean, there's a few different styles that you can choose from. Yeah, I guess that works. Okay, so that done. Are you sure? Yes or no? Okay. So we're starting out in the meadows. This is a locked starting point um like i said this is my server i've been kind of playing around with it here and there um but over here you get the tutorial screen and you just kind of go through it it tells you that you need to you know use your left click and move for your camera and so forth which as soon as you do it it goes to next wsad for movement um, and then Q and E also turn, but it doesn't tell you that. Um, Z to climb. So those hills over there, some of them are, are rather steep, like right here. And you won't be able to actually climb that without turning on your climb ability. You can hit Z or click on this little icon right here. It doesn't matter either one. It's going to eat up stamina. Um, and then it tells you to unclick it and your health nutrition all that um, uh, mouse over shows you um, everything that you need to know green bar stamina water food and then the the next four are you your nutrition is calories carbs fats and proteins and down below that which is blank right now is sleep bonus um, I don't have any because obviously it's a brand new character, so I don't get any. Um, press I for inventory, or you can click the little chest right here in the corner. And I'm just going to skip through these. It's just telling you how to equip stuff and um, that you need to activate things before you can actually do anything. Open the character. 
screen, which is right here, or you can hit um, the C. And then it wants you to equip stuff or unequip stuff. Um, shouldn't have anything on. We don't. Okay, so um, you can. Th there's th multiple ways of doing things in this game. Uh, mostly, you're going to be right clicking and doing stuff from a menu. It's a drop down menu, so you can right click on uh, on the hood and click on equip. And if you switch to show player, it shows that it's there. Or you can grab it and drop it so you can see he doesn't have it on. So you can just drop it onto him and it equips there. There's another option. You can bring it up here. So the red jacket, you can bring up and just drop it on the, uh, oop, drop it on the torso. And that's where it goes. Um, for me, it's just easiest just to grab them and throw them up and like here it says cloth glove uh, cotton times two so if you click on a little plus it's you have two of them but you don't have to equip them individually you can just grab the whole thing and it puts them both on there uh, small shield the short sword uh, and then up here I don't know why they put it up further in the list but for, for whatever reason your pants. So now he's fully equipped with all of the starter gear. Sorry about that. I still have dogs to deal with and things going on in real life, so uh, bear with me. Um, let's see. Nothing else in here that we need right now. So interactions. And like I said, you can you can read through them um, at your pace. Now it wants us to drop something on the ground. I find it's easier just to grab or easiest to grab the rope, right click, go to drop and place so you can see where it's being placed. And then just left click and hold so you can move your screen around. But then you can drop it down, click next, right click it, take it, click next. That's all it wants you to do is know that you can drop something and pick it back up. Um, next thing is terraforming. Um, so we look for, where did it go? The shovel. Um, and double click to activate. And it'll tell you down here what is actually activated. So you can activate the rope, you can activate the green apple, you can activate the compass. Anything that's in your inventory, you can activate. Right now we want the shovel. And we can actually close the character screen so we can see what we're doing. It doesn't matter. This is the basically the newbie area. And I'd like to kind of keep it that way. So I, I prefer nobody building specifically in the meadows. But... The meadows is right here. The whole rest of this world is completely usable. So here's a, here's a closer view of it. This is the meadows. And it's just like this little area right here. Um, all of the rest of this is usable. Build on it. Make a settlement. Make a house. Farm on it. Um, dig a mine, whatever you want to do. I don't care. Um, fair warning, if I find buildings in the meadows, um, I will probably jump on my GM character and demolish them. So save yourself the headache. Um, it takes forever to build stuff, and you don't want to be losing it to some uh, something silly. Um, I will be posting a sign right here just as a reminder, but... Um, just kind of be nice to the new new people um, and let them have the newbie area to kind of figure the game out. Um, that would be preferable. Um, anyway, um, so it just wants you to be able to dig so that you know it shows you know how to dig. And I'll, I'll use this grass tile just so you can see what's going on. Right click on the tile itself, the square, 
you can right click on any of the borders, the corners, it doesn't matter. Click dig. And it takes a second. Now it's dug. You can click next. And it just kind of goes through more information on terraforming the different types of uh, materials. Uh, and then we move into wood cutting. So, uh, but this is when you're digging, it just goes down to bare dirt. And then, of course, it puts it in your inventory. Dirt weighs a lot. So, if you have dirt, this, or you have a lot of weight anyway, this is as fast as you're going to move. In Worm Unlimited and on Worm Online, uh, there is no sprint key. Most everything is operated by hotkeys or your mouse or right clicking, or, but there is no button or no ability to sprint. The best you can do that I'm aware of, and correct me if I'm wrong, feel free to leave comments and, and let me know, is um, that's a ram, there's a cow, um, there's horses in here. Um, you can tame an animal. Um, that's another cow. I know there's horses around here. Um, that's a bull. I don't see any right now, but um, there is for certain. I don't know what that is, um, but there is horses in here. You can tame a horse. Um, it takes a little bit and it's, it requires the skill to do it. Um, put stirrups, saddle, all that stuff on it, ride on roads. Um, and you'll, you'll be faster if you stay on the roads, whether you have a horse or not. But for now, since the dirt makes us so slow, just right click and there's two options to drop. You can either just drop it on the ground or you can drop it as a pile. Dropping it as a pile, puts up this theft warning. Just click on that, saying you understand if somebody sees it, they can steal it. It doesn't matter. Um, the community for Worm is actually really, really cool. Uh, most people don't even bother um, griefing. Or, or I mean, the, you put in so much effort and time in this game that um, it, it's a it's a, actually a really cool community. Um, most of them just want to kind of do what they want to do. And they're not worried about bothering you. At most, you're going to get some somebody you you wander into a village, and they're going to bug the snot out of you to come and share a cup of tea with them while they you know show off what they've built. Or you know, they're not looking at stealing your stuff. Um, and on this particular server, if you do get griefed by anybody um, in the events window right here, when you first start off, there is a welcome message. Um, the GM is my character. It's not this character. It's my GM character. It's Phenom. Just send me a message, um, and I'll see what I can do and try to take care of it. I'm, I'm more than willing to help everybody out. Anyway, back to it. That's what it looks like when you drop a dirt, and you can go up to it, and you can, um, you can take it. You can place it so you can move it around. I don't want it here. I want it over there. And since it was out of bounds, it put it back in my inventory. So instead of dropping it as a pile, you can drop it on the ground. You see that the ground level back up a little bit. And it's not on the ground anywhere. Um, so this is the marker showing um, where you're at. There's a few of these throughout the world. If you get lost, try to get to one, try to find it. Um, it's really, really difficult to, to find your way without landmarks unless you know the area. And then I've already posted a bit of a sign here. Uh, Walker's Cove is southwest. That's actually kind of right through that valley right there. Um, that is the start of my town. I'm, I'll, I'll show you in the next video because um, I don't think we're going to have time in this one. Uh, we're just kind of covering the basics right now. 
Uh, but Walker's Cove is is an open sanctuary. I, uh, anyone that becomes a citizen there is going to have free uh, access to the buildings and such. Um, you'll be able to uh, make buildings and, and develop things and, and make a you know farm or orchard or do some mining or logging. I mean, um, again, this is this is designed to be a community. The iron mine is straight south. We're not at that point walk through yet but right here where this obelisk is is the marker for the mine I purposely put that for, uh, for ease of access um, this over here that square uh, that's bare rock I could have created the mine there as well um, but basically I just said you know this looks like a good spot to dig so I dug and I put a mine in there we'll go over there in just a minute um, the other thing of note, this box, um, it's just, it just a pile of items. It's stuff that I've put here, but I would like it if, uh, you know, if you decide to join the server and you want to help other people out, um, go ahead and jump in. This is basically a newbie box. Um, anything that somebody might need or use or, you know, maybe you want to help them out. I mean, there's brown mushrooms. Um, there's extra clothes uh, in case somebody loses theirs or whatever. Uh, extra tool belt. Um, it's just extra stuff. Um, there's an extra apple in there. Um, but, you know, um, if you can use it, great. Take it. If you can't, no big deal. If you've got extra stuff and you want to put it in here, um, or uh, I don't know, uh, you can only have just so much on a square, and that's on that square. So I don't know, maybe come over here to this square and drop some more stuff. Say, like, I can take um, um, crude axe, we'll place it on the ground, let me take uh, the shovel, place it on the ground. Once you get three items, it actually turns into a box. And then you just open the box up. And maybe I don't want those. Oops. Well, maybe that was the wrong idea. Um, okay. Let's open that up again. So these items are in here, but maybe, you know, I need that particular shovel for now. Uh, but I don't need the pot, uh, the pottery bowl, so I can put the pottery bowl in here. Um, and it, there's a weird glitch. If you take something and you just kind of drop it on here, um, it doesn't put it in there, and it actually says in the chat that you're not trading. I don't know why, um, but if you take it and you hover over anything in here where the lines pop up, you can drop it up oh, and apparently we crashed um, I will be right back as soon as I fix this I'm just gonna pause the recording okay guys we're back um, I don't know what happened there for whatever reason the game decided to crash but anyway um, if you open this up like I said there, there's stuff um, the pottery bowl is actually another container so by dropping this on the pottery bowl it crashed again not sure what's happening hold on okay third time's a charm so note to self do not put uh, your steel and flint in the pottery bowl <coughs> um, so anyway uh, if you grab an item and you just kind of hover over something and drop it It'll put it in the box. If you drop it down here in the blank, it doesn't. It tells you that you're not trading. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and take those items back because we're going to need them. Um, but that is the newbie box. You can drop stuff in it, take stuff out of it, whatever. If we need another box, feel free to create one. If you are interested in uh, making upgraded items for new players or whatever and bringing them over and dropping them up that's fine too um, the more we help each other out the more we help the community so I'm perfectly fine with that 
So for now, it wants us to activate the hatchet and cut down a tree. Um, hatchet. Uh, I can't even. Where is my hatchet? Oh, crude axe. So that's activated. It doesn't matter which tree, but you need to be tied. Uh, uh, if you're pointed at the wrong tile, it'll say grass, dirt, whatever, uh, tile border. So you want to be pointed directly at the tile that specifically says that it's a tree. Cut down. And of course, we didn't cut it down, but the game thinks that we made enough progress. So now it wants us to finish cutting it down. And if you watch down here, that blue bar tells you your progress and whatever action it is that you're taking. And I'm actually going to examine this tree. This is a very old walnut tree, so we're going to get a lot of wood out of this one. And it's going to take a few actions to cut it down. And then there, the other thing that makes it a little quicker is if you just click on it. So like this is a grass tile. I click on the grass tile. I've got this action window up here as well. I can botanize, forage, track, examine. So if I hit the walnut tree, I have the option of cutting it down because I have the axe or hatchet um, activated. And you can queue up multiple actions. There it goes. And you don't have to do this. From my understanding, these stumps will actually decay on their own. They just take a couple of days. If you don't feel like clearing the stumps, it's not a big deal. I choose to destroy them. It takes about 30 seconds. Um, and it eats up your action while you're doing it. You can't do anything else. But it's okay. I don't mind. Uh, it kind of helps keep the area clear. Um, and again, this, this game takes quite a while. It's very labor intensive. If you're not into uh, spending a lot of time just casually building stuff and, and taking pride in the, the, uh, the things that you've accomplished in the game, and you're more of a jump in and hack and slash, and that's what you want to do, or shoot them up, or then this probably isn't the right game for you. Um, but if you like a more laid back feel, I mean, this is a complete sandbox world. Um, it is uh, on par with uh, effectively what you can do with like Minecraft or um, you know several other games. This is completely sandbox. You, you build where you want to build. You build how you want to build. You effectively do whatever you want to do. Um, so now it wants us to chop up this fell tree and make logs. Oh, and apparently my skill is too low to queue up multiples. That's fine. All right. Tree's gone. Well, no, it's right here. It automatically puts it into piles for you. So the next step um, is creating items. It wants you to open up the crafting window, which is this little hammer and chisel down here. And then you're supposed to take some wood. So you take the wood and you put it in here. Hit next. Um, it creates some kindling. I found that the easiest way to do it, it you could probably do it with the axe. I can't remember. No, nope, not this one. Um, but if you take the knife and put it in there, now kindling is an option. And you can cue this one up. This one is more dependent, I believe, on your um, 
mind logic or your body skill, something along those lines. But anyway, the stronger your character, the more you'll be able to queue up. Um, and it may not be necessarily specific to strength. Um, just the more the more you work on your character, the more you're able to do, I guess is my point. Um, it's easiest if you set it up to have at least two or three. Um, primarily because if you only create one, the next step is building a fire. And if you fail at the fire, it'll eat away at some of the kindling. That means that you may not have enough kindling to actually make the fire. And then you got to go back through this step all over again. So with three attempts, I managed to get two kindling. Now, put the kindling in. Maybe we'll just finish with this. Okay. Now that the kindling's in, we'll put the steel and flint in there. And I've always called it flint and steel, but this game is a little off. And I just kind of back up a little bit. There's no reason. I just like being able to see the fire when it's created. Um, and I find if I've got an open area, then I can see what's going on. I failed the first time. And you're going to fail a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, some things just simply are not very easy to, to do. Kindling contains too little material to create a campfire. Try to combine it with similar objects to get a larger amount. Okay, so I'm glad that popped up. Now, if we click on this one and activate it. And then we shift click on this one. Now both of them are um, highlighted. Then right click, we can combine them. Now it's one kindling instead of two. Um, I believe you can do the same thing, just double-clicking a stack. Uh, no, apparently not. No, apparently with logs you can't create uh, combine them, and there are some things that you can't. There's also things that you can. Um, but either way, we're going to put the kindling back in here. Now we've got a uh, and this shows we've got a 53% chance to create one. So we're going to try again. There we go. Campfire is made. Now, I don't need all this wood. I don't need the kindling right now. That's what the town's for. This is literally just to show you guys what uh, the uh, starting setup is. So I'm going to open the campfire. And I'm going to put the kindling in there, and I'm going to put the logs in there, and I'm just going to let them burn down. I don't necessarily need to take these. They're available for whoever, and I have no problem leaving them there. Uh, this will burn down to nothing but ash. So we've completed that step. Now it wants us to go mining. So the next thing we need is the um, pickaxe. Oh, I can't believe it's so hard to find stuff right now. Um, and if you really wanted to, if you want to see the uh, campfire better, activate your shovel. And literally on any section of this, it doesn't matter. So even this little uh, square of the corner, do a quick dig. It pops it down. Now you got a nice clean spot. And then you just drop the dirt back on the ground. It doesn't matter. Uh, as long as it's not packed, um, grass will regrow. But then you can see what's what you're actually doing with the fire. And if I hadn't have moved back to create that fire, it would have been underneath these logs. But those wouldn't have burned because they're not actually in the fire. So, um, pickaxe. Oh, and, and, and if I was carrying all that stuff, oh, see, here's another log. So we'll take that just to get it out of the way. 
and we're going to open the fire. Um, okay, so that all of this stuff is taking damage. When it reaches 100, it disappears. There goes that. This will take a second, but it will disappear when it hits 100. And those are gone. So now I can drop this in there. And one of the downsides of this game is even if you examine this, it just says that it's going to burn uh, steadily for a long time. It doesn't tell you exactly how long. From what I've seen in other videos and what I've uh, gathered, it's like right around 30 minutes. Um, but I'm not 100% certain on that. If you got, uh, if anybody knows, feel free to leave it the the actual amount in the comments below, and I'll uh, make the correction in one of the future videos. This is going to be a series, guys. So um, I will be putting out. Uh, my goal is half hour videos, uh, but they'll be uh, with any luck. I'll have a new video every day. Um, and possibly two or three on Sundays. Uh, not just with this game, but uh, this game is going to be one of the highlights. Um, I may be doing, on Sundays, I may be doing a few other videos. And then uh, um, I also have a separate playlist. Um, recently, my son decided that he wanted to move up here from um, down south. And in with me so he's helping me with a few videos here and there see this didn't get packed so we just take shovel right click um, pack and this uh, packing dirt helps your painting skill but we haven't gotten that far in the tutorial so we've got no skills effectively yet. Um, this is Newbie Mine. I specifically made this with the GM character uh, because it tells you to dig iron. Well, that's just a wall. That's just a wall. That's just a wall. That's iron. And so is every wall coming through here all the way back on both sides. Please do not come in here and mine uh, boatload of iron if you're not in uh, you know a new player to the, the server this is not set up for you to you know get your start this is just so that people can get through the tutorial and we don't ever have to mess with this mine again um, if you do need a few chunks of iron or whatever fine whatever um, but try not to abuse uh, you know, the, the, the privilege of having an open iron mine to be able to, to get a few pieces. Um, so anyway, all we need to do is get one. Oops, that's why I still got the shelf. Um, just mine one piece of iron. And we can finish this tutorial. There we go. Now notice it didn't show up in the inventory. That's because it showed up on the ground. I don't need the iron ore. It can stay there. Um, and in the next... Um, either in the next video or in uh, um, episode 3. I think episode 3. We'll, we'll do some mining and I'll show you a little more about uh, uh, what to do with the ore. Um I'm not 100% certain what I'm going to do in episode 2 yet, other than uh, take you on the journey to get to Walker's Cove and show you around a little bit. In fact, I think, I think that's probably going to be it for that video. Um, but now that we finished that part, we click Next, we click Next, and we click Next a few more times. 
talks about combat, key bindings, Wormpedia, profile, and end the tutorial. Now that the tutorial's done, first steps, it gives you a few quests to work through. Um, you can follow it, you don't have to, it doesn't matter. Um, there's a fishing tutorial in here, so if you want to learn how to fish, um, you can open this back up and go back over any of the, the stuff that you may have missed. Um, so skills, for instance, you can open it back up to the skills and it shows you what you got going on. And um, now we have skills opening up. So if I, if I kept going with mining, uh, you see I only mined once, so I got 0.3%. It start uh, This server set to start off at 3, uh, except fighting, which starts at 5. And I believe that's it. Um, I do have skill gains turned up a little bit, but I wanted to keep this fairly close to original worm online as I can, um, but not have to grind through it all. Because this game is already enough of a grind as it is. It's extremely fun. Um, it is... Oh, there's some more iron. Seriously, did I... Nope, there's the one I just dropped. Interesting. Um, so maybe somebody else has already been on the server. Uh, no idea. That's a pile. Let's open it. There's three there. Uh, and I can tell you that it wasn't me. So somebody else must have been on the server. Which is perfectly fine. It is an open server. Um, it uh, is not password protected. So feel free to stop by and hang out and create a character or whatever. Um, we're just going to come back up here. Okay, now we've entered the meadows again. And as you can see, there's a little water and little streams and stuff. Um, that black spot over there was a tar pit. And I only know that because I've done a little bit of exploring. But if you come back up here, this is a good point of reference. If you get lost, you go back to the stone. Then you know exactly where you're at on the map. The compass, I'm going to be trying to find a mod that'll fix that. Um, I've seen a few of them, but for whatever reason, it likes to, if you move, it takes you uh, 16 seconds for it to reset. Why they chose that, I have no idea. Now, you can turn all you want, but if you move, it gets confused. Um, so anyway, uh, we know we're at the Meadow Stone. There's another one here, Central Lakes. There's one here, West Lake, um, Soulfall East Breach, Northern Shores. Uh, I think that's all of them. I think there's only five. Um, but if you can find one, get to it, then you know exactly where you're at. Now, this is always set up on the map. North is up, south is down, and then east and west. So you, we know that's <clears throat> where the stone is. This is heading north. It says we're heading southwest. That means that we're going this way, southwest. So from here, if you look, oh, stone's just right there. So we're basically right at the stone. Southwest is going to point us in this direction. And that makes sense because the water is right there. If we zoom in, oh, I guess we were zoomed in. So southwest from, oh, from the meadows puts the water 
right there. So we can cut straight across. And that's where we want to go. Um, actually, that is... That's dead west. Yeah, so it's this water. My apologies. It's not this one down here. It's this one right here. Either way, we're going to be heading this way. So, um, And there's the tar right there. But that is our goal for the next video. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. And we will continue this journey in episode two. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.